Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we want to fix out your no audio input device found issue in your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC. So let's go ahead and proceed. In the first step, you need to open your settings menu, choose Windows update, scroll down and click on advanced update. Here you need to click on optional updates feature, click on driver update option, select all the drivers present over here by ticking mark on each of the following and then click on this download and install option to install the driver update in your system. Now if this doesn't work out the next method is click on system option scroll down and choose the option troubleshoot. This troubleshoot option for Windows 10 user will be available by clicking on this search option and typing troubleshoot. Now click on other troubleshooter, scroll down and choose the option recording audio. Click on this run option to run the troubleshooter and check if the problem is resolved or not. Now if both method doesn't work out in third method, right click on start menu and choose the option device manager. Here you need to expand your audio input and output devices, right click on your microphone array and choose the option update driver. Click on the browse option and again choose the second option which is let me pick from the list of available drivers. Here choose the option audio endpoint else if the option is available of the real tag you need to choose that particular option and click on the next button to continue installing the drivers in your system. Once installed try to check if problem is resolved or not. If it is still there in next method same right click on your audio input devices microphone array and choose the option properties. Choose driver tab and if rollback option is available over here click on the option rollback to roll back your driver to the previously stable state. Side by side you need to choose the system devices expand it and here you will find the option of high definition audio controller. Double click to open it choose driver tab and again if rollback driver is option, click on the option rollback. If it is not available, click on the option update driver and again choose second option browse my computer for drivers. Again choose second option and then choose your op driver which is high definition audio controller. Once installed, go ahead and check your problem is resolved or not. Make sure you restart your system as it is saying right now. Once restarted, if the problem still persists, we are going to proceed to the next method. In next method, click on the start menu and type run. Open run command and type services.msc and hit the enter key. Here find a service with the name Realtek audio service by pressing the R key. Double click to open it. If the service status is stopped, click on the start button to start the service at once and in startup type choose the option automatic once done hit apply and ok button. Now if all the method fail the last method is to click on start menu and type control panel to open control panel of your system. Click on this category option and choose as large icon. Here click on this sound icon and click on the recording tab. Whatever driver present over here you need to right click on it and choose the option enable. At my end it is already enabled that's why the option of disable is coming. But if it is disabled you will get the option of enable over here. Once enabled again click on it and click on the option properties. Here click on advanced tab and allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Uncheck this option. Make sure you uncheck this particular option. In the level tab maximize it to 100 if it is required. Now click on this general tab again and click on the properties option next to your Realtek high definition audio. Now click on change settings and click on driver tab. If rollback driver is available again click on this rollback to roll back your driver to the previously stable state. If not again choose update driver option and again choose second option browse my computer for drivers. Again choose second option and here choose the 
driver of your manufacturer. For example, two drivers are present over here. First one is of the Microsoft and second one is of Realtek. My sound system is of Realtek. So I'll choose the Realtek over here and click on the next button to continue installing Realtek drivers in my system. Once finished, go ahead and close each program and then go ahead and restart your system. This point your problem will be fixed out. So these are the best possible ways to fix out your issue regarding the audio input device. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving more such updates from my channel. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching.